So hey guys, happy Friday. If you saw the title of this video, then you know we have a lot to talk about today. So let's get to it. So it's not April Fools, it's not August Fools. This is not a prank, I am not trolling. It's true, we are moving to Florida. So if this is the first video you've ever seen on my channel, hi, I am Liz, and in my case, I am moving back to Florida because Florida is where I was born and raised and lived for the majority of my life. I have lived in four different states, but I was born and raised in Florida and I lived there until I was 23 and I graduated from the University of Florida and then I applied for grad school and moved to Denver, Colorado lived there for four years while attending grad school. I also lived in Nebraska for about eight months doing an internship at a museum and then eventually working for that museum until I got a job offer back in Florida. So I moved to Florida, I lived in the Orlando area for three years, and then I lived in Sarasota for one year. And then in 2016, I moved to Houston, Texas to be with my then boyfriend who became my fiance and is now my husband. For the past four years, I have been living in Texas. We always had the idea that eventually we would move back to Florida. For those of you who have been around for a while, I wanna explain our thought process and our plans and all that exciting news because I am so thrilled. Mike and I had started dating in 2013 and at the time I was in Orlando and he was here in Houston. And we met online, we fell for each other, and so we did long distance for almost two and a half years, where about once a month, I would either fly to Houston and see him, or he would fly to Orlando and see me. In 2016, we were hitting the two year mark of doing long distance, and we were really trying to decide what would happen. Would he move to Florida? Would I move to Houston? And ultimately, I was ready to part ways with the job I was currently in, and he owned the house here in Texas, so we decided it would be easier for us to get in the same place by me moving here. But that didn't mean that Houston was going to be our forever home. We just knew that was going to be the easiest way for us to be in the same space and to make the relationship work and make sure that by living together that we were really meant to be as we suspected. And good news, we were right. <laughs> we got married, <laughs> but we've always kept the idea of moving back to Florida in mind. That's where my family is, that's where a lot of our friends are, and we just love Florida, obviously. The beaches, the theme parks, the springs. It's my home state, and as much as I hate the hot weather <laughs> and I miss having cold weather while I'm living there, I just miss it whenever I'm gone. And it might be a crazy state, but it is my home, it is in my blood. I think I'm a fifth generation Floridian, if I remember right from my grandma's side. Basically my grandma's side were Florida pioneers, some of the first people living in Florida, and so it's just part of me. So the plan has been in the works for a while, we knew we wanted to eventually do this. 2020 just turned into obviously a wild year. So it does feel weird to be trying to move in the middle of a pandemic. The pandemic is sort of the reason why we're making this change now. So first of all, Florida is currently the epicenter of coronavirus in the United States. However, Houston is pretty bad off. And if you compare the numbers, Houston versus where we're planning to move is actually much worse. We feel decent about that decision. Second of all, as I'm sure many of you know, I have been furloughed since March. So I've been home, had unemployment, and for a while I was waiting, assuming I'd be called back into work. But as time has gone on and the cases in Houston have just continued to rise, that was looking less and less likely. So Mike and I started discussing alternate plans. Since Florida had already been on our radar and the additional news that Mike's parents sold their house and will be moving to the Ocala area in September, that gave us even more motivation to want to move to Florida because now both of our sets of parents will be in Florida and we don't really have anything tying us specifically to Houston aside from my job. So the reason I'm finally able to talk about this now is that I had the discussion with my general manager yesterday and let him know that we have decided to move to Florida. He was calling basically wanting to work with me to figure out some way to bring me back and I very much appreciate that. I loved this job. I'll talk about this more in a future video. I have very little doubt that I'll probably be shedding tears when I go to clean out my office soon because I just absolutely love my coworkers and I haven't seen any of them since March. So it's going to be really really hard <laughs> to make it out of that building 
without crying. It was a hard conversation because I could tell he really wanted me back and I appreciate the fact that he was basically calling to try to work something out with me even though I was working as essentially an event planner and there weren't going to be any events anytime soon. Loved working there. My immediate boss and I were a great team. In fact, right before all this went down in February, my immediate boss and I won a national award from our corporate office for our amazing work in the past year. So my general manager was very sad. I was making the decision, but obviously understood. Very hard to say goodbye, but it just feels like now is the right time to do so. I know it's likely going to be hard to find work once I get to Florida, but the good news is that Mike's job, he works remotely, he can work anywhere. We are able to move with his job, and then I am, if you've been following the weekly vlogs, trying to do as much training as I can in order to help me get a different job for the time being, because I know event planning is not going to be a thing anytime soon. So I have been working on some personal development, hoping to get a job in another realm, hopefully working remotely once we get to Florida. But I'm sure at this moment you're wondering, okay, but when? When are you moving and where? For the when, the answer is very soon. In fact, I might be in Florida by the end of this month. If you watch the weekly vlogs, you know we just got new flooring installed. So we have been starting house projects getting the house ready to put on the market. So yes, we finally did the floors last week. Now we do regret waiting so long to do it because we didn't know we were getting vinyl wood floors. If we had known we were going to do vinyl wood floors, we would have done it a year ago because they are essentially dog proof. We knew we were planning to move in the somewhat near future. And so we didn't want to replace the carpet or deal with the concrete floor knowing that we were going to be selling the house and we didn't want to get new floors or new laminate wood that the dogs would destroy before we could sell. So that's why we dealt with the terrible carpet and terrible sofas for so long because we knew we had this plan of moving. So we've just been toughing out the carpet and the sofas and everything knowing that a move was on the horizon and there was no point doing all that stuff and having it destroyed before we had buyers. So we installed the new floors, we fixed the sprinkler system that Colby had attacked a couple years ago, and those were the two main projects that our realtor suggested we do. Otherwise, the house is going to be ready to sell once we are out of it and can have someone come in and do like little touch-up things and a deep clean once the dogs are out of here. So our current plan for moving has been shifting a little bit thanks to Colby. We thought we had the plan pretty well nailed down and then Colby got this really bad injury. That's our dog if you don't know. So he will likely still need treatment through the end of August. It's a really bad wound. I just haven't shown you guys because it's really gross. So originally the plan was that Mike and I were going to drive together while Jeff watched the dogs. And now I'm not sure that Mike will be able to leave Colby. So I'll likely be traveling by myself to Florida, staying with my parents for a bit while I find a rental house for us. And then once the rental house is good to go, we will ship all of our stuff. Mike will join with the dogs and we'll get the house here on the market. And we'll probably wait to do any house hunting on a house to purchase in Florida until this one sells just to be out from this before we worry about a new house there. So I will likely be back in Florida by late August. Mike will probably join me in September and we'll get this house on the market. We're hoping it will sell quickly because interest rates are very low right now and the houses around here typically sell within a month or two. We can handle that if that's the case. So this has been our idea for a while. Actually making it happen as quickly as we have has been a very recent development and we are chugging along. You'll see in the weekly vlog on Monday just how much we've already packed up from the house. That's basically been my full-time job lately is packing, getting us ready for a move. I have all the time in the world so I might as well get ready. I'm leaving this room to last. This is I think the only room that is still 100% in its normal state aside from some boxes off camera and that's because one I'm like most nostalgic for this space because it's my filming space it'll never look like this again but two because I want to film some more videos before we move but the next question I'm sure you want to know is where we are planning to move to the Tampa area if you're familiar with Florida I grew up in Arcadia Florida it is a very small town most people haven't heard of it. It's mostly cows and oranges, and I think the population is around 8,000 people these days. 
I lived in Gainesville for five years when I went to UF. I lived in Orlando for three years. I lived in Sarasota for a year. None of those places felt like my place. I obviously loved being near the theme parks when I lived in Orlando, but Orlando didn't feel like a home to me. I think you could probably find a nice community in the suburbs of Orlando. I just didn't want to be in the thick of tourism again. When Mike and I were discussing moving back to Florida, the Tampa area is the one that just always jumped out at us as the perfect area for us. As it turns out, Mike's parents will be in Ocala, so that's about an hour and a half north of Tampa. My parents are still in Arcadia, which is about an hour and a half southeast of Tampa. My best friends are in Bradenton, which is about a 45 minute drive to the suburbs that we're looking to move into. And it's an easy hour drive into Orlando. So we haven't nailed down exactly where we're moving in the Tampa area yet. We have a few different suburbs that we're looking into and that's another reason why we want to rent. We want to rent in the suburb that I think we're leaning toward and see if we like it for sure before we buy a house. And that gives us some time to explore the other areas and make sure we choose the right area for us. It's very exciting to get to move back to Florida. I wish we were moving at a different time where, you know, any other year we would have been moving right before Halloween Horror Nights. We would have been there right before all the Christmas fun. Endless possibilities of things we could have done this fall if it weren't 2020. But on the other hand, I've had so much extra time to help get us prepared to move and Mike can continue working while I pack the majority of the things. It just seems like the right time for us to go start the next chapter of our lives. So are you guys shocked? Are you surprised? Are you excited? I'm sure all my theme park slash horror nights people are excited because you know that means more vlogs from those areas once they are safe to attend and I will be back covering Horror Nights the entire season, not just one week. Very excited for that. I wanna do a bunch of Florida exploring, going back to the spring, back to the beaches, kinda of showing Mike the natural side of Florida. We've done some of it, but I'd like to show him even more. And I'm looking forward to showcasing some old Florida attractions as well, not just the theme parks. Showing you guys the hidden areas of Florida that just make it home to me. I'm so excited to finally be able to share this. I can't believe I might be a Florida resident again in like three weeks. I'll definitely take you guys along for the journey. You'll be there with me every step of the way and look forward to Monday's weekly vlog because you'll get a little idea of what's been happening behind the scenes and how I've been struggling to vlog around all the boxes. So that's gonna be it for today. I do plan to be back next week with another Flashback Friday and I will see you guys then. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,